All right, guys, so today I want to talk about Windows Ameliorated or Windows AME for short. Um, Windows AME is a custom build of Windows that was popular for a bit, but has kind of flew under the radar. But personally, I hold the belief that Windows AME is the best build of Windows out there. There are other stripped down versions of Windows out there, namely uh, LTSC, which is short for long term support channel and uh, IOT LSTC. Or LTSC, but Windows AME is a bit different to those in ways that I think improves upon the security and privacy uh, within the operating system. So uh, let's go ahead and get logged in. Uh, I didn't want to install it because, or on, I didn't want to install it on uh, video because it's pretty much the same, except you don't have to do a product key because it comes pre activated. So uh, we'll log in with the default. Uh, username password the default username is user and the default password is multi so first things first uh, Windows AME does away with the always administrator approach that Windows goes through instead Windows AME uses a similar model to Unix likes in that you interface with the system as the standard user and escalate to root when an important change needs to be made uh, the reasoning behind this is that it is incredibly easy to exploit an installation of Windows when the user account is an administrator, both physically and digitally. This decision has led to about 94% of the attack surface in Windows AME being eliminated, leaving the other 6% being more of like an estimation between unknown zero days, known backdoors, and security bugs. Uh, secondly, Windows AME has stripped out almost all Microsoft components that broadcast telemetry to the Windows servers, and it also gets rid of unnecessary bloatware, uh, but unfortunately this has led to the rem removal of the start menu here. Uh, but fear not, it's OpenShell. OpenShell is here to save the day. Honestly, I like this app launcher a lot better because it reminds me of KDE and the older versions of Windows, like Vista and XP, but with modern touches added to it. Uh, you can, as you can see, there's no Cortana, there's no internet-enabled search function. This is like the actual search function here uh it's the same search that you've had that windows has had now for two decades pretty much this also means that the windows store is not available um and unlike in ltsc or iot ltsc there's no support for dot app or dot app x programs to be installed which means uh no uwp uh, and there is a downside and that there are no updates uh, you have to do security patches yourself, which means when you install this, you're likely going to be pretty far out of date because this ISO doesn't get updated very often. Um, it's a rather straightforward process once you've done it a couple of times, but if you aren't familiar with shells, then I can see there being some frustration with doing this. Um, I think the scripts have the ability to do this automatically. I'm going to look here in a second. Um... I guess we'll go ahead and start kind of looking around. So I've already got the scripts here. We'll load up Firefox again real quick so I can show you where you get them from. Hold on, should be in my history here. So this here is AME's website. So it's basically Windows 10, but it's got, you know, the Microsoft spyware removed from it, and it's got a lot of the bloat removed too. You can get the community ISO, um, you have to make a telegram for it, or you could make it yourself if you want to have more control over building it. Uh, honestly, the default ISO is, uh, is just fine, and if you build it yourself, uh, you're going to have to do it with Linux, uh, with a Linux live environment. So... Uh, if you're not ready to necessarily make the switch to Linux altogether, then I recommend just downloading this. But, uh, I mean, you could try doing that yourself too, though. Uh, we've got the documentation here, and we got the FAQ. Which, it pretty much just tells you how to do different things in Windows AME, because, you know, it's not exactly... It's not exactly the same. I didn't mean to download that. It's not exactly the same doing stuff in here as it is in Windows. Like you can't just like change uh, the wallpaper or something like that. You know, everything's kind of a little bit more, a little bit more complicated. I mean, you can change this 
this wallpaper here, but like for instance, like your lock screen wallpaper, uh, you have to do that through the script. I've already got the script downloaded, but I'll show you where to go. I'll show you where to go to get the script. Uh, these are not the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, these are not the ones that I'm talking about. Uh, you want to download Amex. So this is Amex here. It's a script that automates a lot of activities that you normally have to do in the command line. And honestly, it does it a little bit better too. Um, you would go to the releases here and download the zip here. And uh, I've already downloaded that. So uh, before we do that, I want to kind of showcase the software that you get with here. So if you see here, you really don't have any Microsoft apps. Like I said, they got rid of everything that broadcast telemetry and that is almost everything that is in windows there's no microsoft edge um there is no internet explorer uh there is nothing this is practically windows 7 with a windows 10 coat of paint on it which is awesome pretty much i like i like i like windows and i'm not a, i don't use it very often i don't like using windows that much because there's not a whole lot besides me to do in there besides games but i think windows ame is actually pretty nice so it's a pretty good throwback to older versions of windows so um we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the script here open up amex and we'll go in there and then we'll run this I have to type in multi, which by the way, change that. I went ahead and just name dropped that password out there so you can go ahead and change it if you decide to install this because if somebody gets your password on here, it's gonna probably be worse than if somebody got it on regular Windows. So as you can see, we have the option to change our username. We'll do that. We'll change our username to, I don't know, Sabian. Sabib. Uh, now we'll keep it that way, I guess. Uh, we'll enter a new password. Let me go ahead and change that just in case. All right, and I will change the administrator password. All right, and then we can change the lock screen image through here because, like I said, you can't just do that because. The way to do that involves something that does involve telemetry. So there's a real reason for that. It's the same thing with the profile image. I don't have any images, so I'm not going to do any of those. Uh, you can manage your language settings here. Uh, we can elevate uh, your user to administrator. We can disable the username login requirement. Uh, you can enable auto log on. But we can also check out the extra setting here, which lets us enable WSL. Uh, we can enable hibernation because it is turned off by default. Uh, we can enable the notification center or disable desktop notifications. Uh, we can enable the Windows script host, uh, the Visual Basic script, uh, NCSI active probing. We can create a new user or uh, and this is like the kind of the crux of it. Uh, we can install the NVIDIA control panel, which is very nice because you get the actual control panel. You don't get the UWP control panel uh, like you get with Windows now. Uh, you get the actual NVIDIA control panel, um, which I've, in my experience, works better than the UWP app. Windows AME is... Who's Windows AME for? Windows AME is for people who are looking to get into free and open source software, but they can't really make the switch to Linux full time. They're they're more they're along the lines of Arch users in the way in that it's more function over anything else, but with still an emphasis on free software. 
except AME's kind of f a lot further a, lo a, a lot further away than that. Um, pretty much all of the apps that I've tried for Windows AME, they work. Um, you know, stuff like OpenRGB uh, or Kden or any free and open source software like that works just fine because they package all of the files that they, they they package all of the stuff that they need to run it in it anyways. So even if Windows doesn't have it, it'll still run. Basically, like what this means is that levers of free and open source software and digital privacy, even if you cannot make the full switch to Linux for whatever reason, uh, there are still options. You're not stuck on regular Microsoft slash Windows. And if you want to make a jump in the right direction, um, why not give Microsoft minus Windows a try? Uh, like I was saying, you can get a build of AME from their website. You'll have to make a telegram or you can ameliorate your own build which will take about two or three hours so do it the risk of your own time uh if you can't make the switch to linux yet i really i really still think that the best way to get your feet wet would be try out a distro in the meantime maybe install this as your daily operating system until you feel comfortable uh, all your regular apps will still work so long as they don't require the microsoft store and as further proof of this my gaming vms uh, they use Windows AME because it leaves a smaller footprint on my virtual drive and it has a smaller performance impact overall. Um, my DJing laptop that I use for my proprietary Native Instruments controller runs Windows AME because uh, although sometimes I have to use Windows to do what I love, it doesn't mean I have to give up all my privacy and security. Uh, check it out through the link in the description and uh, keep in mind, like I was saying, you'll have to make Telegram to access it. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want to make the switch to Linux, check out my Linux guides, my uh, video essays on free and open source software and philosophy. Um, if you want to see some of my Linux gaming content, check out Space Hulk, check out uh, Subnautica, check out Resident Evil Village. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys have an awesome and wonderful rest of your day.